Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at optionalpha.com and welcome back to the nightly video recap that we post here on the membership side of our site for the trades that we made today. Again, if you want to check out these trades before they're posted on YouTube about five to seven days later and get them the same day, you'll have to sign up for our membership here at optionalpha.com. So we had one opening and one closing trade for Friday and we've been really active this week. So I'm actually glad that we got these two trades in. The closing trade we've been trying to get in pretty much all week and it just never really quite filled. And then the opening calendar trade that we have, which is a little bit new for some of you who are just joining the service this week and have seven day passes. I'm gonna go over that in detail. But let's start with the closing vertical put spread that we had on XLU. So on XLU, we bought back the vertical put spread that we had for January. Now January expiration is coming up and that's okay. And we could have left this thing open. But uh, again, with all of the put spreads that we do, especially the credit spreads, we're gonna close it out early for a profit. We made the vast majority of the potential profit we can make on this trade. So it's better to take the risk off the table now than to possibly have something crazy happen next week. And what looks to be a nice big fat winner turns into a big fat loser. So that's what we wanna to try to avoid by again, managing these, these winning trades and closing them out early. So in this case, we bought back the fur, four vertical put spreads that we had on XLU. It was the 37, 36 put spread. We sold it for 30 cents and we bought it back for five cents per spread. So we made $25 per spread, about a hundred bucks on the trade. So again, very nice trade, very clean trade. Let's actually go to the chart here and just take a look at XLU and we'll get back to the IWM here in a little bit. But again, we sold the put spread and you'll notice that on Friday, XLU had a huge pop up, which really helped us, right? So actually the entire time that we had been selling this put spread, the market had been moving down against our position. So if you'll notice pretty much the entire month of October uh, and December, the put spread has been moving down. And so basically what happened is that that pop up that we just had here today, coupled with the drop in implied volatility, really helped solidify our position and really decay that premium uh, as we get closer to January expiration. So again, it was a good opportunity just to take money off the table. All right, so let's talk about this calendar spread again. Calendar spreads are something that we do here in low volatility environments. It's a really good way to play low volatility. What you usually see us do is a lot of directional debit spreads, whether that's call spreads or debit spreads, but sometimes when the market pricing is right and when, when it looks like it's a good trade, we'll sometimes do a calendar spread. And so this time we did a calendar spread on IWM, which is the Russell ETF. So we bought two of these calendar spreads and you can see the tickers IWM and it was the March, February 110 puts. Now we bought this for a debit of 75 cents. So we paid 75 cents per calendar spread that we bought. So what we end up doing is we end up selling the near term, which is the February. We end up selling the 110 Februarys and buying the 110 March puts. Same strike price, same side of the market. So we're still working on the put side, working on the exact same strike price, the 110s. But in this case, we sold the Februarys, which is the near term, and we bought the March, which is long term. Now, the reason this is really good in low volatility is because if volatility, volatility were to increase, you'd still have some decay in the front month option, which is this February, but the increase in volatility for the March option that were long would actually show a nice little boost up in that premium. So we actually get the DK in February coupled with possibly an increase in premium for March with implied volatility going higher, hopefully. And that obviously makes for a really nice trade. Now I like to trade the calendar spreads on the put side because obviously when the market starts to go down and uh, IWM starts to hopefully go lower right around 110. That's when we obviously start to see the VIX and implied volatility go up, right? Implied volatility can go up when the market's rallying, but that's usually not the case. Implied volatility usually starts to go up at a much greater rate when the market's falling pretty fast. So let's go to IWM just so you can see where our strikes are in relation to the chart. So here's IWM, we're, we're getting close to making new highs. And again, we sold the Dece the February options, bought the March options at 110. So 110 is our strike, and that means that we're kind of targeting somewhere between now and the end of February for IWM possibly to get down to here. That would be max profit if it did. So really, our, we start to make money right around 112. And I'll show you this on the profit and loss diagram here that we have on Thinkorswim. So basically, again, the whole idea with this calendar spread is that implied volatility is really, really low. I actually don't think it's probably this low right now. I think it's around 12 or 13. This might be a little misprint here on Thinkorswim's platform, but 
the pi volatility is really low. It's definitely not anywhere close to that 50th percentile that we look at when we look at selling things like credit spreads and iron condors and butterflies, etc. So let's go to the actual analyze tab here and you guys will see exactly where this position is uh, on the chart. So this is the analyze tab and for those of you who don't know how to use this, check out our video tutorial on optionalpha.com. We go over everything here, but again, our position is down here below. You see it's a live position. We're short the February options, long the March options down below. And so you'll see here that this option really makes the vast majority of its money at February expiration when it's centered around 110. Now we make a good chunk of money at 112, and ideally as long as it's below 114, which is a fairly insignificant drop in IWM, we'll actually start to make money on this trading and can possibly close it out early. So that's going to be the goal here is we have a nice big window from about 114 on the top side to all the way down to around 106, and I doubt we'd let it go that far down uh, before we close out the trade, but we have a nice big window that we can make an, a nice profit on this trade if the market just moves down a little bit more and implied volatility ticks up. So this is a really good way to play low volatility environments. I know I get a lot of emails from members and non-members on, on how to play low volatility markets. And this is a great way. Find a stock that's really overbought, low implied volatility, and start to trade some calendar spreads on it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. As always, if you have questions about this trade or any of the trades that we made, please post them right below here in the comment section. I'll get back to everyone this weekend. Happy trading. We'll see you next week.